Well, this is easy, and I got a script that you can try and download. Uh, I got it in the light box here, and it's this one here. Uh, it's called the uh, Auto Dyna UV. Okay. Uh, once you have the zip file, extract file to the desktop, and so you can see the folder. Right-click the folder, uh, create a shortcut. Right-click the shortcut, cut it and paste it in the uh, C project folder. This is where mine's at. So when I select here, uh, this is basically my project folder, but this is all my stuff still on my desktop. Uh, paying attention to this stuff right here, right now, this is what we want to uh, select here. It's the uh, 4R8 Autodyna UV ZSC. We do that, we'll bring the window up. And we have some buttons like that. First thing that we want to do is we're going to select this cube here. It says load cube. Give it a second. And there's our cube. All right. I'm going to shift snap it so it's directly at me. And the correct axis facing storm towards me. Uh, this will load. And if uh, you don't like this, the way it's loading, um, you can... Uh, Save this so it loads every time, however you want. Uh, you can hold the Alt key and move it down, or you can hold the Alt key and let go and zoom. These are the only two things you can do. Do not use the move and scale this. It'll screw up. Basically, the Alt key and move it, or then you can do the zoom. Once you do this, then you'll go over to the file and save as, and then you're going to save this to your desktop, and you're going to overwrite this uh, Z project. Dyna cube here, okay? Now when you do that, it'll load every time once you press this cube here just how you wanted it. Once you press the cube button here, it automatically copies this over here in the tool, so you can paste this later if you decide to switch back over the tool. Uh, if you do not want to use the cube, and you model, model with something else, you can go down here to deformation, and you can polish this all the way up to 100 and then we have a spear uh, then like I said it's already copied so if I want to go back to the original one then just paste it I'll be pausing the video in and out if you see any changes so I'll let you know in advance uh, before I start the script I'm gonna go ahead and set up before I even get started I select the Z modeler and some of the settings like over edge I right clicked and I want it to do nothing and I did that with a point because I don't want to do nothing when I touch it. Uh, the reason why you want to set this up first is because once you start the script and you click on the canvas and turn it and let go of the mouse it's going to automatically dynamesh it and when it does that it could turn round, rounded around the edges and I don't want that to happen in this case because I want it to stay much as the cube as I can. Is that can all right was that with that said is uh, we got these sliders down here all right it says set mirror weld off okay uh, I highly recommend to use this the most I use it the most all right then you got the set mirror weld on okay uh, this will mirror the mesh and weld it this helps keep the cemetery uh, sometimes when you are modeling on here and the dyna mesh it will actually throw the symmetry out of whack. Uh, this button here, Auto Dynamesh, right here, this will turn the script on and off. Okay, with that said, is I'll go ahead and move the slider. All right, they're both set to three, that means they're off. So I'm going to select the top one, and when I do, I got number two or one. It really doesn't matter, it's just going to start the script. All right, you notice the bottom are grayed out, so I cannot select that no more. Uh, so I'm going to get started, so I'm going to hover over the face here and drag out and let go. And you get something like that. And I'll select down up front here and out back. And I'm going to get something like that. All right, if I don't like that, I can paste the tool back and start all over. Another thing that you can do is you can drag out, hold the shift key, and you get something like that. It looks like the texture is stretched, but once you let go, it updates. Right. Uh, if 
if you want to stop the script, I'm going to press this button, and when I do, both of these sliders will go to three. That means the script is done, and it is executed. I stop it. This script will work with most of any of these brushes. Not all of them, but pretty much all of them it will. So keep that in mind. Uh, like this, inflate will work. Uh, move topology will work. Uh, let's go ahead and make something really quick here. Set this to one. And drag out. Let go. Come over here and click. Select back here and drag out. And we'll click here. Alright, you can also click and drag over. Let's try that again. See, it says non symmetry. Uh, if you try it again, it probably works. So, you like that, then it updates. Uh, okay, uh, you can use the smooth brush on here if you want. Smooth that out and it'll automatically update. Alright, this thing does not like uh, thin mesh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to thicken it up. Uh, you can see the active point right here that says 158. I press move and I'm going to scale this up. It's going to get more polygons, so I'm going to thicken this up here. Uh, then I get something like that. Alright. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, trim rec on here and we're going to see if we can't flatten this out a little bit. And if you look at the bottom, it's flat. And I'll do it up top here. Then you get something like that. Uh, if you feel that the symmetry is getting out of whack, you can go to geometry and turn on the X. Do the texture here. You can press this more than once. It says press twice, so you press here and press it again. Uh, as you can see, every time I click a button, uh, these pellets open up, let you know where you can kind of do your adjustments. Uh, most of the buttons, not all of them. Let's say I want to switch to a different uh, texture. I can go to this one here and do something like that. And if I use the move topology, let's see here. And drag it out. We need a smooth brush. I need to do something like that. This is for the frames, so you can just view the frame right here. All right. Uh, this one here is dynamic on. If you click here, uh, it turns on the dynamic, and you can kind of drag up like that. Then you can see the dynamic in action. You can switch to a different brush if you want to. Back to the monitor. It says uh, non symmetry operation canceled. Uh, we can go ahead and select that again just to see if it will work. And you get something like that. Turn that off too. And if you don't like something, you can always go back to where you started by scrolling through here. Okay, uh, everything's kind of, these buttons are like in order, um, in pairs, the texture, then the polyframe, then the dynamic, and on and off, and relax, one and two. You, you press these buttons, one and two. Uh, 
if you see a question mark at the end of the text there, uh, that's telling you you need to shut the script off when you use this. All right. If you do this cube here um, and load it, make sure this is off. I'm not going to explain why. Um, it's best to just click this and I shut the script off. So it says on the relax, I need to shut the script off. But um, I'm going to go ahead and run the script first, and we're going to try something so I can show you. And when that's said here, I'm going to press move, and I'm going to drag out. Watch my active point. I'm at 56 and I let it go. It's going to update. Okay, and I'm going to scale up. It's going to add more polygons. Okay. All right, I'm going to try to see if I can get me some jagged edges here in just a second. It's here. All right, there we go. That looks good. Uh, uh, this is what this relax is going to do. It's going to help maintain the shape uh, if it's got any detail and even out these polygons without uh, dest destructing it. So is it telling me to shut the script off before I do this? Because if I press this, it's not going to work right. So I'm going to go to Auto Dynamesh and it's going to turn the script off. You can tell the script is off by both of these are at set number three. Uh, these are in order, one and then two. Uh, you can experiment. I'm going to press it one time. And you can see it even on the polygon. Number two, it actually reconstructs it. Um, if you look in this uh, palette over here in geometry, when I press reconstruct, I have subdivision level. All right, sometimes you might want to press this twice and relax it. And it straightens these out and evens out the polygons. All right, uh, pause the video and uh, I'm going to show you another thing real quick here. Back up. Uh, I got the script still running. Uh, if I drag out, you can see the edges pulling apart. Uh, this thing is pretty good because if I bring it back across, uh, they're crossing the uh, edges, one edge to another. But if I let go here in just a second, it's going to update and it's going to fix itself. So it's pretty hard to screw this mesh up. Uh, the script is designed actually for low poly uh, modeling. Uh, you can do whatever you want and you want to keep these uh, polygons as big as you can, the easier to work with. The more you add to here, uh, the harder it's going to be. Um, the zooming has no effect on what's going on, okay? So I'm just zooming here, okay? So if you want to make these bigger or smaller, uh, you can use the scale here okay let me just come down here if I go down like this okay the polygons are getting bigger if I scale up like this they're getting smaller All right. let's go ahead and shut the skip off and I kinda like this relax I'll do that one more time I'll click this twice uh, if you ever get an error clicking any of these buttons, uh, it's probably because uh, you have subdivision levels. You can click the delete higher here, and that'll solve that problem. A uh, little note here. Uh, when this script is running, sometimes it'll lock you from trying to select something like in a menu or something. So be aware of that. Another thing is do not mess with the uh, Dynamesh. Uh, vision slider because or resolution slider because that could also mess up if you like if you want to add more polygons do it like I showed you how to scale that and that's how that work so let's go ahead and go into the next step here let's deformation and we're going to polish this here and we're going to turn on the script just to show you something else I'll just put in number two it really doesn't matter and just to show you how it works and we've got move topology and just drag it down. You can see it update like that. Alright, you might want more polygons on this, so like I said, you can uh, use the scale here. Alright, I'm going to make it large. I'm just going to add more. So then I'll just use a zoom to bring it back like that and you can also use a smooth brush zoom and it's going to update I'll let go you 
can use a lot of these tools in here and it's kind of cool that you this is the inflate if I just kind of inflate it a little bit right here I'm gonna stretch out the polygons to let go it's gonna update now the shift key to smooth it back all right let's turn the texture on all right I'm gonna go ahead and scale that one more time Switch this over to this. Press move. Bring it back here. And you can see it update like that. There's a lot of things that you can do with this and uh, I can't go over everything because uh, there's just too much time consuming. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is this script runs constantly. It's intense so I wouldn't run it uh, extremely long time. So uh, let me go ahead and just show you another little example of what you can do. And get your icon and we're going to use the extender and I'm going to drag it out. And if stretch the texture, she's going to let go. It updates with the new texture here. Uh, it works with uh, a lot of the deformation here. Like I said, you can polish this here. Uh, works pretty much with everything here. So we flatten it here. select gear icon and sphere here uh, this one has no texture to it if I press the texture noise there ain't none so hey we go over here and then we apply it right here I'm gonna scale this up a little bit oh I want to see if I move this well look at that's kind of cool let's move it like this with a move you can see it's you can't screw this up it's no matter what so I'm using the oh wow that's pretty cool and I'll just move this again yeah let's drag this back uh, this script uh, I don't know if I mentioned it's pretty intense and you don't want it to run an extremely long time uh, things get out of whack uh, there's always, you can see my symmetry might get out of whack if I press some of these, they just don't work right. Uh, you can go into, uh, let's turn that off. You can go into deformation, unify that, and bring that back into the center. Like I said, the link will be below the video if you want to download this. Uh, everything should load according to what you see here. If you see anything different, uh, go ahead and leave a message. I don't check my messages a lot, but uh, I'll check them for a little bit to make sure everybody's going good. And if you find anything kind of cool or something, go ahead and post a video of it because I'd like to check it out. And there's like, like uh, all kinds of stuff you can do. I'm just going over a few things, so. As a sample, I'm just going to inflate. I just like I just just do crazy stuff with it. A smooth brush. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up, and it is a lot of fun.